Hey guys, what's up? Cassie West here. So today I wanted to talk about the worst part of motherhood because obviously, you know, before you have children, you have an idea in your mind of all these things that you think are going to be bad about motherhood, that you think are going to be amazing about motherhood. And, um, and I can say that virtually everything that I was worried about ended up not being an issue and the actual worst part of motherhood was something that I really never even anticipated. There is a writer named Michelle Goldberg, and she wrote an article a few years ago called I Was a Proud Non-Breeder, Then I Changed My Mind. And her experience of like the things that she was worried about when deciding to have children and how it actually turned out is probably the absolute closest to what I felt like as a mother. I think she's most recently known for having a spat with Jordan Peterson, but this was a couple years before that. So, so even if you don't agree with this woman ideologically or um, politically or whatever, this this is more this is more a human interest piece about actual feelings and emotions. So it doesn't really have anything to do with that. And so I highly recommend you guys check that out, you know, either before you even watch this or afterward. I think you would really like it. It was really good and insightful. But the way that I differ from her is that unlike her, I did always know that I wanted to have children, um, you know, especially the few years leading up to when I finally had my first child. By then, you know, my biological clock was going crazy. Um, and then before that, it was just sort of like a passing like, oh, yeah, of course, I'll have kids one day. Going into motherhood, I was worried about the logistics. I was worried about, oh, now I won't be able to do this or do that or hang out with my husband at this time or be able to go on this trip or be able to just go out with friends or go like all these logistical, oh, oh there'll be a financial burden, this and that. All those things actually ended up being like way not an issue at all. Like kids are a lot less expensive than I thought that they would be. All my kids were good sleepers. Like it's the actual day-to-day -day logistics of it was nothing like I thought. I was I was just absolutely floored at how much better it was than what I was expecting. Maybe I was expecting it to be really bad. So um, maybe that's a life lesson to have like low expectations or something. But um, uh, those burdens actually turned out to not be burdens at all, not be issues at all. The entire element of it just being so much fun fun so much fun i uh, getting to experience the world through totally new eyes just this feeling of fulfillment this feeling of having a tribe like just this always being surrounded by people that you love and just absolutely enjoy spending time with enjoy showing new things enjoy raising um i wasn't expecting that i didn't even know about that that was so much better than i thought it could be but something that I did not even think about, didn't even realize would be an issue, actually turned out to be the biggest burden and the worst part of being a mother. And that is just the overwhelming sense of love that you have for them. And the fact that now there are so many more terrible things that can happen. Like before having children, the worst thing that could possibly happen is like I get run over by a train and die. Like literally the worst thing that could happen is I could die. But once you have children, there are fates so much worse than death. And you know, people who do lose their children or their children get hurt or, or go through cancer or things like that, I, I don't even know how they're able to go on. I mean, it, it must be through just immense spiritual strength because otherwise I don't even I can't even comprehend it so I was prepared for the inconveniences I was 
prepared for the financial burdens and and all that kind of stuff those were things that i thought were going to be a lot worse than they were but i was not prepared for that overwhelming sense of love or just really the heaviness of that i mean loving someone that much isn't always that enjoyable once you've birthed these children that are going to live for all eternity and you know you are responsible for their happiness and their well-being and and you know for raising them up to be good godly people and and a wonderful next generation you know there are so many fates worse than death even as a child far far before i ever had kids i would hear about like oh this child dies of cancer or this child went missing things like that but now as a parent i can't even comprehend that so if you are a mother or are considering being a mother soon or sometime within the next couple of years i highly recommend checking out michelle goldberg's piece called I was a proud non-breeder, then I changed my mind. Um, I found it really, really entertaining and insightful. And and I've never read anything that so accurately described what I felt when becoming a, a mom. It was all just like a very pleasant surprise. I... And I know that sounds dumb because everyone says like, oh, kids are the best part of life. Like everyone does tell you how great it is, but... I just felt like no one had ever told me that it was fun. Like, no one ever told me how just, like, fun and nice and pleasant and and enjoyable it was. Like, I feel like there's just a lot of talk around parenting, you know, in regards to responsibility and obligation and selflessness. But, like, to me, like, like, nothing about having kids is really selfless. I mean, it's all just pretty enjoyable. (laughs) But the overwhelming sense of love and the fact that I was now entering into a phase of life and taking something on that would mean that now all of a sudden there are fates far worse than death because before having children, the worst thing that can happen to you is you get hit by a truck or you die of cancer or something. That's the worst thing that could happen. Um, But once your children are born, it's like the list is endless. Like there are a thousand fates worse than death now that just these, these fears just didn't even exist before. So just that worry that had no reason to exist before is probably the worst part of motherhood, I would say. And I know that we're not supposed to worry and this and that, but but just the overwhelming heaviness of that and the responsibility of that is a lot. It is a lot. And loving something that much is not always pleasant. It it's it, There's a lot of weight to it. So yeah, for me, it was that overwhelming sense of love and the fact that now all of a sudden there are fates worse than death, whereas before, before there really weren't so um what was the worst part of motherhood for for you guys i mean is that something that you just like never even worried about um something that doesn't really weigh heavy on your mind like you're able to just um you know pray and and have god be in control of that and you know release it to him as we're supposed to um so I highly recommend, again, check out that article. I found it interesting, Um, even if you might not like her from a political or philosophical standpoint, that article was pretty good and insightful. And, um, And what is the worst part of motherhood for you? And I'm guessing a lot of women will say the same thing, but I could be wrong. I could be off. I don't know. So let me know. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below and you have a wonderful rest of your night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.